teachers in America and public schools have caused big problems for society. We're here today to take you through a journey of Marion County High School students on the problem of chewing gum and putting them underneath the desk. Soon find out what damage it has caused to every single desk in history. I'm here live right now at Marion County High School where we will take a look at death throughout the school affected by rare syndrome, death under a desk. It's a condition in which multiple pieces of gum have been lodged into bottoms of desks by careless students. I'm sure there are many poor sellers' desks dying right now. Let's see if we can find any. This looks like a good place to start. Let's go. Let's see if we can find any damage under this one. Students should be allowed to chew gum in school? Yes. Oh, really? Yes. It's good. Because it's good. It tastes good. It tastes good. I agree. Yes. Okay. Look at this. Look at these jaw muscles. Mm, it builds your jaw muscles. Jaw muscles. Great. Mm. That's good. That's a good analogy. Thank you. All right. That's not an well, analogy. Thank you for your time with us. You're welcome, we'll sir. You right now, we have Sheila. She's about to show us unexplained footage. some pros and cons of chewing gum in school. As far as pros go, they're surprisingly pretty many. Cons include death under a desk syndrome. It is a severe problem when students chew gum. Also, gum is a big promoter of dental decay. Chewing sugar flavored gum bays in the teeth and sugar will promote dental decay and the other problems associated with high sugar intake. 
The medical journal reported that chewing gum can cause migraine headaches. Now that we have all the information, you can make your own decision on whether gum should or should not be allowed in school. There are definitely many pros. You can learn more and faster. And many cons. Death under a desk. And the fact that chewing gum may not be the best for your hygiene. But before we sign out, I'd like to leave you with something to contemplate when all your friends are out having fun and you're sitting alone at night with your cat. We know for certain that gum causes the mess under tables and chairs. But maybe, just maybe, if students didn't have to hide that chewing gum, they would dispose of it properly. Hmm, <laughs> that's a thinker. I'm Mary Helen. And I'm Austin. See you next week. Signing out. I'd like to leave you with something to contemplate with all your friends or I had a fun. I sat very scared. I didn't know. I didn't know Death under a desk. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Death under a desk. <laughs> Death under a desk. <laughs> Also, gum is a big promoter of Don't stop, don't stop. But before we go, any before before we go further. Uh, you can learn more and <laughs>